Okay, so let's begin. Um, web hosting. Um, my avast, what is web hosting? Uh, in a size saying uh, it is the way of keeping a website online. Good answer, good answer. So let's start. The aim of this session, uh, we'll be talking about uh, what is web hosting. Uh, and then we'll talk about why we need to do it. And then we'll talk about how to do it. And then I'll be sharing some uh, cost, some material later on, you know, so that you can learn about it on your own uh, time. Yes, uh, way of keeping website and so that everyone is able to access it. Yes, good. So um, this is the aim of the session. Um, so what is web hosting? As someone has mentioned, web hosting is an online service that allows you to publish your website files to the internet. So you're hosting it. Um, <clears throat> so right now, all of us, we have um, HTML, CSS and JavaScript. I don't know if you guys have worked on the JavaScript part. Have you guys worked on the JavaScript? Yes, no, yes, no. Can use the emoji on the, uh, to have you, uh, have you worked on it? Some JavaScript. Anyone? Doreen? Have you worked on some JavaScript? Ah, okay. Yes, good. So you have your CSS, HTML, JavaScript ready. What next? What do you do next? You do web hosting. So as uh, Inasa, Inasa say, uh, it's the way to keep our website on so that everyone is able to access it. So remember, as we do our as we do our web, as we do our projects in HTML and CSS, and we host them, uh, the point is not to keep it to yourself. Eh? You have to showcase it to other people. And when you do it with HTML and CSS, it's usually inside of your computer. And not everyone has access to your computer, right? It's just there. So no one has access to it. So it's important that uh, you also um, share it with others. And this is one way of doing it. Because I've seen some nice websites, uh, but you, know, you have to maybe share your screen so that we can be able to see it. But once you do web hosting, you don't need to do all that. So that's, you know, those are some of the things of, so that's some of the points on why, why you need uh, to host your website. Any any other any other reasons you guys think we need to we need to do web hosting? Any any other reason? Safi, what do you think is one of the reasons apart from apart from making it accessible to everyone and hosting? Why 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 do we need to host it? Yeah, we need to we need web hosts so, uh, to to keep our uh, project safe. Mm. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Thank you, thank you for that. Yes, America. that's true. Any any other you were thinking of, or anyone else? for advertisement from Agnes. Okay, clever, clever, clever. For advertisement. But let me ask you, why do you do advertisement? What's the, what's the point of advertising? Let's say you have a website and you put adverts there. 
Why would you do that? Uh, for making money. And uh, so I think that's maybe it needs yeah. making money. You're right. Making money. <laughs> making money. <laughs> yeah, you know, the most, imp yeah, well, most, most websites nowadays are essentially there to make money. Whether it's Facebook, it's Instagram, it's Snapchat. I know you're always, some of you are on Snapchat, you know, they, 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 are, they are hosting your picture so that you, so that they make money from you with your data. You know, you've, you've read about uh, all these uh, scandals of Facebook with all their stories about, uh, you know, how they, how they are not uh, private, how they steal your data, all of those stories. Them, they are making money also. Mm -hmm. If you go, to, yes, Jerry. I had Sorry? to say something. Yeah. No, I, no, I, I didn't say anything. Oh, yeah. So saying like, uh, yeah, you're right. Like uh, the, all these people are just making money. Um, what another example would be, for example, New Times. It's a website for making uh, what news. So they also sell adverts, and they also make money by you know one of the ways they make money is also adverts. So. All websites, not all of them, you know, but most websites are there to make money. So you're right. Uh, to earn money for advertisement is one of the ways of earning money. So let's see, let's see uh, before you go there. Yeah, so that's that's something else, earn money. Um, anything, anyone else came up with another idea? Why we host? entertainment yes yes you're right it's entertainment uh you find yourself uh, uh you know scrolling tiktok the whole day instead of you know working on your assignment uh, that's that's a form of entertainment and when you produce content and you put it there you, you record yourself dancing or you record your cut or you take a picture and you post it on Instagram, you're kind of, you know, hosting content, kind of. Well, they are helping you by providing you with all the material, but you're providing that content and hosting it. So it's kind of, you know, kind of entertainment. And uh, most of the, a lot of the content on the internet is you know, entertainment, making people smile, making people happy. But also remember that at the end of it, uh, they always use the entertainment to make money. So just wanted to <laughs> remind you guys of that. Um, so yeah, let's talk about types of web hosting. Uh, we have, uh, so when, when you decide, we all have HTML, CSS, and uh, we all have a, uh, we, have, we are almost finished. We have a demo on Friday. And uh, I'm, I'm sure you're all finalizing on your HTML, CSS pages. Um, and you, you know, now you're thinking, okay, wow, how do I host my, how do I host my site? So these are the types of web hosting. I'll just go through them quickly. Um, there's shared hosting where, you know, uh, you are so many of you. And it's very cheap. That's the most common. It's very cheap. So you just go to uh, a website like uh, GoDaddy or uh, what Bluehost. Um, there are many other websites online. If you just Google, uh, they just take your website. You pay like $5 per month, $10 per month. And then they give you a place to put your content and you store it there. Um, so that's shared hosting, and then you have VPS. This is where you you you. It's more technical. You're given like a computer that is kind of yours, 
but it's a virtual computer. So you, you manage it however you want. So you can log in the way you log in into your Windows machine, but you use your terminal now, or you use, or you, there are many ways of logging in, and then you, you yourself, you host it for yourself. So it's essentially, essentially you have your own computer on the cloud. If you get, you know, if you understand uh, the cloud, the cloud is essentially someone else's computer. So, uh, for example, if you if you upload your if you use Google Photos on your phone, and Google Photos uploads all your photos, so that you you know you don't if your phone is stolen, you don't lose your phone or your contacts. You upload them on Google Contacts. So that when you switch phones, your contacts do not disappear. You don't have to start fresh. That's one like that's cloud. It's your content is being hosted on the cloud, but the cloud is just you know someone's computer. So VPS is kind of something like that, um, but slightly different. Where you have your own computer, but you are able to log in and you are able to make some few changes. Now when we come to the dedicated hosting, um, it's more advanced than VPS. So VPS is kind of virtual. Uh, it's just a small section, but a dedicated server is like you have your own, it's like you have your own computer and you can even delete it. You can do anything you want with it. That one is more like you have a lot more control than this one. So dedicated has more control than VPS. So. I mean, don't worry about it. If it's too technical, you'll hear about them more in the future. So don't worry about it. And then you have cloud hosting where it's just, um, there are many different types of how you can just, there are many websites that uh, allow you to, you don't even know where it is. You just upload it, it goes, uh, but you don't control much. But it's also very easy. Yeah. So anyone, anyone with a question on this section? I know I, it may be a bit complicated, but uh, um, if you have any question, I can try and answer. Uh, can you please come back on the virtual and dedicated? So, yeah. So the virtual is uh, so. For example, I don't know if I have a. Uh, so for you see, a server is like is like, I don't know if you guys have ever seen a server. It's like a computer, but you remember, you see that the CPU, if you have a desktop, the CPU, but it's much bigger, right? So that's like a server. And they use it, we used to use like this one, like this one. So this is like a server, let's say, right? So in dedicated server hosting, it's very expensive. And let's say a big company comes, let's say Bank BK. BK needs dedicated hosting. BK will be given all these servers and they'll be told, all these are yours. So you, you just control it remotely, but they're yours. When it comes to VPS, this guy doesn't sell all of them. He just takes, he puts them all into, he, he uses the dedicated server hosting, but divides it into multiple uh, servers. So instead of having one person dedicated to all of it, he divides it into many virtual private servers. So he installs like 10 Windows machine inside here. So let's say one, one client says, I want a, I want a Windows server with the 3 GB RAM and I want uh, uh, one terabyte space. So this guy has 1000 terabytes. So he'll create a server, a Windows server, install it here, give it 3 GB RAM and give it one terabyte only and then sell that one. Now you, you log into that section only, but the rest, there's someone else next to you who is also hosting, who is also has a VPS here, another person has a VPS here, another one has here, another one has here. So all of us will just be logging in 
onto our own VPS. You have your own computer, you have your own port, you have your own things, but you know, it's kind of separated. So you have a virtual private server. But dedicated server hosting, it's not a virtual server. It's the whole thing is yours. It's it's yours only. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, any any other question? Welcome, uh, Ariane. Any any other question, guys? Dedicated, shared, hosting. You know, are you? Is it is it confusing? Yes, a little bit. Uh huh. Okay. Tell me. Tell me. What? 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 Where are you? Are you lost? Because you see. Okay. Let me. Uh -huh. Okay. Tell me. Where is confused? Where is it confusing? It's, mm -hmm. it's like something big to me uh it, it's like new so that's why it's like i'm very confusing like that so but i'll be trying to understand it okay so let me let me don't uh, le tell me what do you understand by where where do you know like um do you understand cloud? Let me ask you. The cloud. Do you understand what the cloud yeah, is? Yeah, yes, yes. I understand. What about uh, a server? I know server. Um, okay. Um so and you understand how you can connect to a, a server somewhere and put your stuff yeah. there. Yes. Okay. So this is what is going on. So people all around the world want to host their content, right? They want to host their stuff. So they, they want, they don't, people don't want to use their own computer because imagine if I have, let's say you, you have created your own website, right? Right now, you have created your HTML and CSS. Yes. But, but you, you want to host it on the internet. Do you know what you'll have to do? You'll have to buy a computer a server you have to buy a server this is like a huge machine that is eating electricity you know it's it needs a, a cooler it needs a, a lot of electricity it's expensive and then you need internet dedicated internet you have to plug it in you have to give it its own room so that's what we it used to be like a long time ago so once you plug once you buy it this this like this, something like this. Imagine you have it in your house. So once you buy that, now you, you go inside of it, then you put your content and then you configure everything by yourself so that when someone in Pakistan goes to um, my website.rw, let's say, you know, my, let's say uh, I love Rwanda.rw, you have registered that one. It takes you to that computer, your own computer. So there's a lot of stuff going on there that no one wants to care about, no one cares about, right? You don't want to go through all that stress. So people have created companies where they do that, all that for you. They buy, they, they buy server for you. They buy space for you. They buy hard disk for you. You, your work is just to bring them there, HTML and CSS. You just take your HTML and CSS and give it to them and you put it somewhere, they tell you, you put it somewhere and then set this and this and that, and then you'll be good. So those, those are the, the, the different types of, so these different types of web hosting are depending on how much money you have and what content you have. So these people who have like simple websites, WordPress, you know, PHP, they use what? Shared hosting, very simple. You just upload and then you, it works. And also, to some extent cloud hosting because you just upload it and then it works. So when it comes to VPS, these are people who need uh, advanced services. Like they need, you know, to set up a, a particular something on the server that does this, maybe emailing. They need to email someone once, you know, you register uh, authentication, you know, those advanced stuff when, which we will learn later. So those are the 
that's how it is. Like, does that kind of make sense? Yes, uh, I, I have another question. So I would like to know. So no one can use this to like virtual and it get it like a, as a, a sample hosting like we are doing. We are making our website. So then we can use this, all this for the big companies. I don't know. Well, we are going to host our own website. So we will use cloud hosting to host our own website. So, but this one, this is for VPS. I'll just show you. Let me let me even show you. Yeah? Uh, let me show you. Uh, we have uh, which which VPS do I know? Uh, okay, let's just Google even. Huh? Let me. Uh, uh, okay, VPS servers. Uh, let's see. So sorry, it's it's uh, complicated, uh, but uh, just I'm just showing you uh, so that you kind of get what uh, it means. So you see, like this this one, it's they call it droplets. Where don't don't uh, be afraid if it's complicated. Essentially, what they do is you just join, and then you say, uh, "Let me see, let me see, let me see." You see, like here. You see, I, I want, you say you want 4GB, you want this type and the bandwidth this type, and then you just click, I want this one, and then you buy it. Uh, and as you can see here, uh, it's not showing anymore, but you, sele you select, essentially you select what you want. You select what you want, and then you click it, and then they give you a server. And they give you all these things, you know, complicated stuff, you have firewalls, you have a lot, you know, all these nice, nice, you know, complicated things, but essentially that's the VPS. And um, uh, yeah, so that's that's VPS essentially. Um, does that kind of help? I know, <laughs> I know it doesn't help so much, but I hope you kind of get an idea of what's involved. No, it's okay. Yeah, so do you have any other question? Any question, you can ask any question, even if it's, even if you think it's stupid. Trust me, I also ask stupid questions every day and they wonder what's wrong with me. <laughs> so you can be free with me, you can ask any question. Oh, Agnes, is web hosting free from charges? So, Okay, let me let me show you. Let me show you guys. Uh, sorry. Uh, let me go here. It's not it's not free from it's 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 it all of it has charges. Eh? You pay. So for example, uh, you have here what is uh, here. You see, this one is paying forty dollars per month. This one is paying four hundred dollars per month. Uh, if you have a, a like something like C, C, C panel uh, hosting, um, so this one is like uh, they pay like ten dollars. You pay like ten dollars to host your website on this site. Uh, it doesn't show now, uh, but yeah, it's all of them have different costs. Uh, I wish I I had uh, prepared that section to show you uh, about like each of them having different costs. Uh, but usually, you see, like shared hosting is usually very cheap. For example, if you have a WordPress site, you want to host WordPress, or you have a PHP, a simple PHP site you want to host, it's usually like ten dollars, fifteen dollars to host. The VPS is a bit more expensive and dedicated server is even more expensive. So it's, you have to pay, but there are free options and I'll share with you at the end of the session. So let's go next. So you are a developer, right? We are developers here. So let's not talk about those complicated things. Yeah, we talk about our, you, we have a, we have a website, right? want to host it, how do we do it? 
So there are two types of scenarios, right? We have a static and you have dynamic websites. Anyone can, can anyone tell me the difference of static and dynamic? Anyone with an idea? Anyone? Alice, do you have an idea? No, because I came when I, I, you have started, I'm rushed. Oh, okay. No, it's okay. Uh, Doreen, do you have an idea? Uh, uh, I think like static, it's a, a no website which is like, it's not updated every day. Dynamics like you can see it's working, they are making new things. Like, yeah, I think it's like that. <laughs> That's a good attempt, actually. That's a good attempt. So you see here, this is the difference. So we have a static website. You have HTML, CSS, CSS you make it and then the way you said it not necessarily because it's not updated but because it doesn't connect to anything else so the, it's just like that but a dynamic website you have html yes you have js and you have css yes but behind it you have something like a php or a mysql or a node.js or something like that meaning I go to this website and I register and it saved my data somewhere. That's just like a dynamic website. It's accessing some data somewhere, storing some data, and then you can come in and edit what and play with it dynamically. But a static website is a website where you have to go into the code to change it. You have to go into the code to update it. But a dynamic website, uh, depending if you change your profile, remember if you go to Facebook and update your picture, it updates the picture, right? Changes. You now you can change your picture from a man to a woman, or a woman to a man, or you know you can update your picture to be uh, a bit newer since you the, the last time you logged in was a long time ago. That's a dynamic website, it changes. But you see, if I have like the websites we are creating, they're static. They, they can't, it, 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 can't, it can't change for now, unless you have, have some form of backend where you send your data somewhere. So it's static, that's what we mean by static and dynamic. It's, it's you, have to you have to go into the code and change the HTML and CSS. But for dynamic, you can up use the code, the code itself updates the website itself. So I can change my profile picture. I can change where I work. I can change my email. I can go to LinkedIn and post something. That's a dynamic website. But for our own small website or social media, you can't change anything. It's stuck. It's, you know, it's just a displaying. You display something. So any question on that? I hope that kind of makes sense. Right? No? And yeah, I didn't catch, catch it so well. You didn't catch it? Well. Oh, okay. So I was saying static is kind of fixed. You can't update it. You can't update the website. Okay? Yeah. But but dynamic, you can go to that website and update it. So most websites are dynamic actually, because you can mm -hmm. upload things, you can change things. But for us, when we are doing mm -hmm. developer, as developers, as you're, as you're starting to develop, you don't have the skills yet to make it dynamic. So it's kind of static. It's, you know, you just upload HTML, CSS, and you have your, some pictures there, but it doesn't change. Maybe you can come tomorrow and update it, but it's still static. You can't change it. it it can't change itself. That's the difference. Yeah. Yeah. Now I get. Yeah. yeah, that's kind of the I know it's kind of complicated and it's kind of confusing, but that's the idea. If you if you are able to go to a website and update the website itself so that the website has changed, 
without you going to the HTML and CSS. That's a dynamic website. But if you have to go to the HTML and CSS and you go open VS Code to change it, that's a static website. Does that make sense, guys, uh, ladies? Yes. Yeah. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So ours is a static website, right? So how do we web host on a static website? So these are the examples we can use. These are some of the apps we can use. There's this one called uh, Surge, static web publishing for front end developers. So remember our website is static. So it allows us to upload our static web pages to their website for free, actually, for free. We have GitHub pages. It allows us to host our content for free. So you have your HTML, CSS, we can upload it to for free to the cloud. And that's what you're going to try and do. There's also another service called Netlify. I'll share all these links later. It allows you to build, deploy, and scale modern web projects. So um, essentially, they can give you free hosting for static website. Now, because it's static, it doesn't access a database or something. That's why they're offering it for free. But once you start, you know, having something like registration, having something like, uh, you know, upload picture or something like that, now they start charging you, it's no longer free. Um, any question on that? Any, 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 any confusion? In if I'm going too fast, please tell me guys. No question. Doreen, is it clear? Yes. Ah, awesome, awesome. So this page is just showing you the different types that the different websites that allows us to host our content. So for us, we're going to use GitHub. Now, ask a question. Um, you guys have GitHub accounts. Let me start with Agnes. Do you have a GitHub account? And just say yes, yes. or no. Yes. Awesome. Uh, Inasa, do you have a GitHub account? Okay. Doreen, do you have a GitHub? Yes. Uh, Okay. Alice, do you have a GitHub? Sorry? Do you have GitHub account? No. Okay. Okay. So, and uh, Agnes, I'm sure you have a GitHub account, Agnes. Hub. Yeah? Yes. Yes, yes. So, um, Alice, um, yes. Did you, did you join the Git session, the session on GitHub and Git? No. So let me just, uh, sorry. Let me just uh, uh, share with you the link so that you can just. Uh, join. Uh, so this is GitHub. Uh, it's a website where developers use to host their code. This is where we put code. Um, are you in a? Are you able to create an account now? Is it possible? Do you have a laptop with you? Yes, the laptop is the one I am using to join here. Oh, okay, okay. So do you, have you, do you, can you click on that link I've shared? Yes, I'm going to complete it. 
yeah so just sign up and then uh, um yeah, it's it's just a place where people we host code. So if you have HTML, yes, that's where you put it. Uh, nice. Yeah, this is how it looks. I know it looks uh, complicated, but don't worry about it. You can even post the simple, simplest things you can host there. So okay. um, let's watch a simple presentation here on uh, thing on GitHub. If you're a software. Can you hear it, guys? Mm. Is it loud and clear? GitHub helps you build all sorts of great things. Things that help people, things that could land you a job, things that could change the world, and some things that might not. So how do you tell them about all the great things you're building? Billboards, direct mail, and there are lots of options out there, but so many of these options can be excessive, overwhelming, even for someone who develops software. GitHub Pages lets you turn GitHub repositories into elegant websites to showcase your portfolio, your projects, their documentation, or anything else you want to share. There are no databases to set up and no servers to configure. In many cases, you don't even have to know HTML. Everything just works. If you're already using GitHub, it's the most direct path to create websites for you and your projects. So how does it work? Well, GitHub serves all of your project sites from a personal URL tied to your username or organization. GitHub looks for web content for your projects on a special branch. For sites tied to an existing repository, this branch is separate from your code. But you can also create a site for yourself or your organization by creating a repository with your GitHub Pages URL as its name and adding web content to its master branch. You can even drag and drop your files straight into your browser to upload them. Now, if you want to build something a bit more ambitious, like a blog or structured documentation, GitHub Pages gives you a streamlined publishing experience with the help of Jekyll. Jekyll is an open source tool. So uh, <laughs> there it starts getting complicated, but uh, essentially, that's 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 uh, that's a bit about that. So let's try to do it. Um, can so someone who has a uh, someone who has a GitHub account, is there any volunteer to? share their screen and then we we try and set up a simple web page on github anyone willing to volunteer i'll take you through it as as you do it anyone 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 Okay. And let me share mine. Okay, good. Awesome. So you can open uh, github.com. I have and downloaded the GitHub desktop. Is it? No, just Where go to web. Get, go to go to the website first, and then we'll we'll use that later. So share your screen first. Okay. Okay. Okay, now we can see your screen. Yeah, so go to, you to my screen. Yes, we can see. Are you? Are you? Yeah. Thank you. And you yeah, GitHub. Okay. 
So click click on the one of the options. Inter. GitHub login. GitHub.com login. Yeah. Instead of typing mm. all of it. Okay. Click sign in. Okay. Yeah, click, click, click that one, the first link. Aha. Uh -huh. Perfect. Now let's go to um create a new repository. Click click on the new. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, type in your username, Dodo Wayesu one. Type, you see where it says repository name? Yeah, okay. I see yeah. here. Yeah, yeah, type there. And the rest of us, you can also be trying to do this as we are doing it also, uh, if you if you can. So type in your username. Okay. Um, so I think you have a capital E. And it should be small e, right? I'm not mistaken. Like check. Yeah. So yeah. So you have a capital E there. Uh -huh. Yes. And then dot github dot io. <laughs> So dodo yesu one dot github dot io. Git uh, github. Dot io. And guys, I'm just going to paste the instructions that I'm using um, on the mm -hmm. chat. So if you, want to, if you want to follow with me, let's uh, check that page out. Yeah, are you good? And then, and then uh, scroll down. So cl click create repository. Okay. Then. 
done now um scroll down okay scroll up you see set up in desktop click that one i don't know if it will set it up click that we see you said you already have the desktop app you see there it's in the middle there yes yeah click set yeah. up in desktop it's yeah it's somewhere there set yeah. up in desktop yeah click that one you see if it will open the github client open yeah, GitHub open. Yes. Uh -huh. so what we need to do is we just need to create an index.html file and then we push it to your repository and then that's it it should be able to load your page so let's let's try that one and see if it works So essentially, um, what it will be doing is that it will be hosting for us our own uh, index.html, meaning you can add even new, you know, new. Uh, can you click that one on create a new file? Create a new file. The, down after setup in desktop, there's a create a new file. Yeah, create that one because yes. you can also create um, uh, content inside of GitHub itself. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Now create a file called index.html, name your file index.html. Index index HTML. Yes. Uh, and then uh, type in the HTML or uh, let me see if do we need to type in actual HTML? Yeah, just type hello. Instead of editing the new file, just say hello, my name is and then put your name. Okay. Yeah, there it's, yeah, somewhere there. Or just put so your- they put can't there. Type, yeah. It can't type there. Okay. Yeah, yeah, we can type now. The first refuse okay. now, I think. Yeah, just type my, hello, my name is name. Right. Hello, um, my. It's okay if it's uh, not spelled correctly, actually. Just, uh, <laughs> uh, just we're testing. So you can just type your name and then we see. And the good thing about this is we can even go back and then edit it. And then we come back and see how it looks. Thank you. 
That's that's it. Yeah. So you can scroll down. Scroll down. I think that's enough. Okay. Uh, save change. Commit. Create. Create. Commit mm -hmm. new file. So uh, you see, when you're committing it, you have to type in the. Uh, oh, well, yeah. You, 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 have, you, you can type I in some stuff, but yeah, but it's already created for you. See, there it's saying create index HTML. They have already put, they yeah. have already put that for you. So you can just type commit. You can just enter commit new file. Just click that one. It already does it for you. So you don't need to do anything else. If you just click that one. To create a new file. Mm -hmm. So it's loading. Let's wait for it to load. So it should create a new repository for you with one file called index.html. Yeah, it's. Uh, I think it's the internet. Uh, it's, uh, can give it some. Yeah. Give it some few seconds. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's see what it will say. Uh, the file, a file with the same name already exists. Huh, okay. So if it already exists, uh, um, uh, scroll up. Mark check Doreen. No, it 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 says the file already exists, so we can't do it again. So scroll up. Uh, scroll up to the top here, to the top. No, don't create a new branch. Don't create a new branch. No, don't create a new branch. Just scroll up. Mic check, Doreen. Okay, you can do that, but uh, <laughs> that's something else. Yeah, so click, click on the, click on the, click on your, go back, go, go, go up, go up, go up to your, up, no, completely, yeah, there. So click on dodoyesu.github.io, click on that. Do do a yesu dot GitHub. No, up the up one. Oh, sorry, I have already clicked on this. It's okay. It's okay. I think it's the same thing actually. So yep. it, since it's saying the file already exists, I want to check what files do you have. You see, you already have it. So maybe it's already yeah. created. And we didn't yeah, I had one. I have created yeah. one. Yeah, you've already created it, right? Now open it, yes. we see what's inside there. Open it, we see what is inside there. Uh, creates, uh, no, this one. Open the index.html on the left, yeah, that one. Open it, click on it. Yeah, I already click on it, okay. You see, saying, hello, my name hello. is Dori. So, 
So we, we have done it now. Yes. What you need to do next is go to um, the website. Uh, Dodo Wayesu one dot github dot io. So we need to go to mm -hmm. Dodo Wayesu one dot github. No, type it on a new tab. We see what it says. Go to a new tab. New it's tab, true. open it's, a new tab. It's loading. <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry. No, yeah, yeah don't, don't go get out of GitHub. Go to a new tab. Don't open, just open a fresh tab, a fresh one. A new one. A new, totally new, not this one, not GitHub, not anything. Leave GitHub alone. I see. So yeah, I'm, new I'm, tab. Yes, exactly. Now type hmm. Dodo Wayesu one. Okay. Your username. Yes. Okay. Sorry. Dodo. Yeah, it's pretty. Can I use this one, the first one? No, 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 don't use that one. Dodo or yes, one. Don't use that one. I, I read all the. Yeah, yeah, why, yes. one dot and the rest of us you can also try it try it on your laptop eh? we see if it works dot but github it's... github mm, dot io dot io you can even try it on your phone we see if uh, you know it's working so if you have a phone try it on your phone enter enter thank you So we need to know if our index.html was hosted or, or not. Did we host uh, your website? Anyone else is trying it? Has anyone tried it? If you are tried it, please type on the chat if you have tried it to go to that website. Type on chat if you have tried it. Tell me what you see. Uh, Agnes, Ariane, Alice, let's try it. Let's try and go to that website and see if uh, our small, small, small index.html has been hosted. Yeah. yeah, it's already come. Hello, my name is. Oh, it's the name. Can't exactly. Oh, so, that's... Um, Alice. Uh, Safi, Ariane, Agnes, have you guys tried it? Agnes, have you tried it? Yes, I did, but... Oh. Safi, is any, is it, have you seen anything? No. Oh, check check the, 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 what you typed. Check what you typed. Um, Agnes, Ariane, Alice, Alice, have you tried it? Me, yeah, I was trying to to create accounts on that guitar. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Sorry, I forgot about that. So, I Agnes, what about you? For me, I said, but it's not working. It's not working. So let me yeah. paste it. Paste it on chat. Click the link on the chat. I posted. Yeah? Click the link on your phone or your laptop. Click the link I've posted. For me, it's working. So, um, 
again Doreen go back yes. to go back to github okay the one where we came mm. from yeah i know uh, So guys, check it, check it on the... So um, let me just uh, go to Doreen's uh, GitHub so that it's easier for her since maybe her internet is not so good. Uh, let me go, I think it's public, eh? Uh, slash. So let me share my screen again. Can you see my screen, guys? Can you see my screen? Yes. Yeah, so this is your account, Doreen. You see here, it says, it says you've just created one repository and it is this one. And this is your yes. index.html. So you created this one and it put it here. So. Essentially what we did, eh, we used GitHub pages to host your content. So here, what they are saying is create a repository with the, your name. And then uh, for those who don't know Git, it's okay. Uh, but if you know Git, essentially this is what is, you're just pulling down her repository. And then you are editing the index that you're creating index HTML and you're putting hello world and then you're pushing it back. So you're using your computer and your terminal to push it to here. So what we did is we didn't do this. We didn't do all of this. We just use GitHub itself to create a new file. So since it's our account, she can create index.html and then she can put whatever she wants here. So that's what she did. So. You can do either options, but as long as you do that, you're already hosting your content. Now, given we know that, what we can do is instead of just having, hello, my name is Doreen, you can have all the content that is in your index.html in our project, and you can put it here. So, does that make sense? So instead of it showing, hello, my name is Doreen, it will show what? Your project. So it will show, uh, maybe I can edit. Well, I don't have rights to edit, but if I could edit, I could put, you know, HTML tags, you know, the, all of those tags that we need. And then you save. if you save it and then you go back here, it will show the new website. Um, does that make sense, guys? Does that kind of make sense of how we did a simple way of hosting? Yes. Yes. So, Doreen, you can try it. You can try and edit using your GitHub client. Uh, mm -hmm. Get that. Get your repository. Edit index.html. Put in some new HTML there. Big, big HTML that mm -hmm. you have for your project your social media mm. and then save yeah. it and then push it to the GitHub. And then we see, what it, maybe you'll try it later, uh, but uh, mm. you should be able to get, you know, this URL, this page will show your content. Um, uh, uh, uh -huh. You have a question? Yes, uh, you know, you can open, uh, yes, you, I can do that, but can you, when you use GitHub, see another people like their codes, whatever, what, what 
tiles they do so then you copy so all oh, you can run about all those people have created github so then uh, i can see their codes or whatever is it possible on github i don't know yeah 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 so if i sign in here um i can see So I can see you. Um, well, there are so many, there are billions of people, so you don't even need to, you know, to, to, they, no, it's still, there's so many things going on. So let's say we have uh, uh, ocean base, let's say this one. So see this one is someone's code and I can read uh, maybe their, their, this, this file. I can read this one. It has some code. I can read uh, which 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 code you want us to read. PHP. Let's see if someone has. If you have so, so these are example example of some PHP code. Um, well, it looks uh, complicated. Let's let's see a uh, movie store. Maybe we'll have a simple. All GitHub. So if you have a movie store here and we, it's a, let's see if we have a, a simple, simple app. Uh, okay, this one is not simple. We're looking for HTML, CSS, HTML, okay. Uh, Let's try this one. That doesn't look like HTML. Yeah, you see, public to HTML. We have some uh, views here, uh, main HTML. So you see, this one has created his own website. He has put all the things he needs here. So if you need to refer to other people's code or remember, don't copy, eh? use it as an inspiration. So yeah, I, I don't know if that helps. Uh, does that help yes. uh, Doreen? Yes, yes. Yeah, yes. so you, just know who you can just search or if you know someone, maybe Agnes, Agnes, what's what's your user? Well, are you confident sharing that's your username, Agnes? Or someone else? We can access your account and then we see what you're doing. But you know, you don't need to share. Um, it's for example, I have so many Andela here, uh, projects here. Uh, let's say we have this guy. Ibrahim, we can see what he's been working on. Uh, you know, the things he's, he's doing. So that's just an example. I hope that helps. So Agnes, you ask, is it necessary to put .github while naming the uh, repository? Agnes, mic check. Oh, Agnes. So you see the, yes. the problem. Yeah. So the problem is um, you see there's, a, there's this website. Let me just try and explain it to you. There's like this one called Name Cheap. Uh, this is where you buy a domain, right? So here you come and say, I want uh, Agnes is the best.com. And then I type in. So you are trying to create your own domain so that when people type in Agnes is the best.com, they go to your website, right? Sorry, I, I'm starting from far. So how much does it cost? Let's see. Agnes is the best.com. I need it for myself. I need to host that content it costs you $8. That's like uh, 10K per year, 10K Ronda francs.com. Now, 
here, GitHub, they're providing us a free service to host our content. And we don't need to use, we don't need to, we, are, we, do, we have not bought our own domain, right? So if you don't buy your own domain, that you are forced to use someone else's domain, github.io. That's the problem. So if you don't buy yours, you'll, you have to use this one. So if you want to use, if you want to use, uh, give me a minute, yeah. So if you want to use your own domain name, you have to buy on one of these sites or oh, a uh, Rwanda by domain. Let me see. Uh, a free register. Yeah. Richter. Richter buys like uh, in bulk. So you come here, register your domain in, in let's say I want to buy Agnes dot co.rw let's say such let's see how many mafaranga it will cost us so it's available for order so you can buy you know? uh, you're, you're lucky agnes <laughs> you have to pay 55k per year now that's registration eh? so that's the problem with this github doesn't want to doesn't host for you and doesn't give you a domain name. if you want you can buy yours and then if you create your own web page you can come here somewhere and then you change it I'll, if you need to do it i can help you but instead of saying dodo yesu.github.io i can say dodo i can say dorin .co.rw. Now, if I go there, if I register here, and then I connect this one and my GitHub, if I come here, Doreen.co.rw, it will load, hello, my name is Doreen. Does that make sense, uh, Agnes? Or is it uh, complicate, complicate? I hope it kind of makes sense. Yes. Yeah, uh, Agnes. Yes, yes. So, so you see here, and then that's 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 just how it is. So, um, uh, I have a question. Mm -hmm. Uh, you know, when I, I was about to using GitHub, so then you upload a big project. They have said like it's a big one, so it can't be uploaded. It's upload, but when you try to open, it gives you like things. I don't know. I don't know if it's me or I did it, but so it gives you like uh, something which is like, I don't know, it's, you can't read it. Okay, share your screen and then we see. Oh, uh, I deleted it because I have <laughs> it on there. And then when I uploaded it, so they showed me like things are big. And so let me try to do that so then you can see. Yeah, try it. Uh, it shouldn't be so much, but yeah, try it and then we see, and then you'll tell me. Yeah. So anyone? Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Any anyone else with a question on hosting or on all the process of GitHub? Uh, so GitHub is just a way to simplify your life. You don't need. If you want to get a domain, you buy it, and then, as I said, you'll just put in your. So if I buy here. Uh, this one, and then I can, if I, if, I, if, I, if I need hosting, I can even buy, but I don't need it, you see? I just buy, I pay, I pay them 5K, and then I transfer the domain, and then I come here, I set it, and then if I go to agnes.rw, it will open this page. So anyone else with a question? Please don't be afraid to ask a question. If you're stuck, if you're confused, that'll make sense. Safi, Safi, any question? 
Yeah, may I have a question on, on, on creating an account? I tried to sign by using my email and I failed. Uh -huh. And I was on GitHub. What did it say? Uh, I tried to sign up on, on GitHub and I failed. Yeah, I'm keeping trying. I I tried to, to put my, to use my email. Yeah, and they told me that it's between email or password, some, 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 something between them is called incorrect. It's not valid. Uh, so instead of logging in, sign up. I think you try to log in, right? Sign up, try and sign up. Yeah. Yeah, just try and sign up and then... Uh, uh, it's just the same. It's just similar to signing up to a social media or anything. It's not even complicated. So you just say, let me just show you guys for those who haven't done it. Eh? So I'm here. Let me just log out. No, let me sign out. Can you see my screen? So I come here okay. and then I say sign up. So for all of you who haven't signed up, you say sign up. Eh? Once you sign up, uh huh, what's it saying welcome to github let's begin the adventure enter your email address so let's say my email let me create a fake email eh? temporary email uh don't use these tricks eh? please this is black magic don't uh, don't use fake emails please so this is my email I come here and say my email is kogg at whatever.com. Enter. My password. I say my password is uh, I love uh, Rwanda programmer Discord. Okay, that's too long. Let me say I love capital G, GitHub, exclamation mark. Do I remember that one? Okay, let me do this, eh? Let me type in that one. Remember guys, this is just fake, eh? Passwords may be compromised, okay. Let me use my email. I don't want to stress myself. Aha, uh -huh. so I'm using my email as my password. Don't do that. That's very bad. Please. Your email will be accessed by hackers. So don't use your email for your password. I'm just using it for demonstration. Enter username. I want to say, I want to be called Kogg. Oh, sorry. Kogg. Continue. Kogg is not available. So if it's not available, I say 45. 45 is not available. Okay. I say 459. Wow, okay, he's available, continue. Would you like to receive product updates? No, continue. Uh, verify your country, solve the puzzle to verify that you are human. Start puzzle. Pick the spiral galaxy. Wow. Read this one. Pick the spiral galaxy. Uh, so they just ask you some stupid questions and then you say, create an account. So you almost done. We sent a lunch code to email.com, enter code. So if I come here on my email, I've gotten an email saying, enter, here's your GitHub lunch code, code GG. Type in this one. If I type in this one here, I'm done. Yeah. yeah, so follow that, try and do that, right? Thank you. Yeah, the same for Alice. Alice, mic check Alice. Yes. Have you seen what I did? Uh, I read there to verify account. When I click there, they brought me something like, uh, they ask me, I'm a student or teacher. 
Yeah, just put student. Oh, yeah. Put student. Okay. Yeah, just type, just answer their questions. They always have some crazy questions. Just answer it. And then, yes. you, yeah, you'll get your account. Um, hmm. Inasa, did you manage to try something? Do you have any question? I'm sorry. Um, from AA, I mean, uh, 6, 40, 45, 7, 20, I wasn't online. I was having this thing of electricity. Mm. But I hope the, your call and I will find the record. Yeah, I've recorded it. Actually, it, was, it broke them. From the beginning, I was following, but I got in trouble, some interruption to the electricity. Okay, okay. I'll upload it and put it on uh, Discord. Are you on Discord? Yes, I am. Okay, okay. I'll share it there. Uh, anyone else with a question? Uh, Doreen, did you get to that point again? Yes, let me try and show you on GitHub desktop. So when it's opened, it shows me like things which is not easy. Uh -huh. Show us. Okay, let me try. Uh huh. So, uh huh. So, what's what's uh, what's going on here? I can see you have practices. So, um, click on current repository. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Click on current repository. Uh, yes, see. I'll click on uh, do I yes. mm. mm -hmm. filter. You see? Mm -hmm. So on this final, so when I'm trying to use the, oh. this, uh, that was mine. And uh, do you know what happens? Mm -hmm. Things mm -hmm. ha came like I don't see any any code I've made on it. Mm -hmm. That was not the same we did on. It's not an HTML, it's a data science, but nothing showing me here. It was like no codes. Yeah. Click on it. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. So, so, so click on uh, main current branch. Yeah. You click on current branch. Yeah, on top there, yeah. Click there. Uh, there should be like, or oh, you have only one branch. So your code is disappearing, eh? Um, yes. Okay. Can you check on the folder itself? On the folder, no record. And, um, yes. Uh, and so at least the folder should have the files if the shoulder doesn't if the folder doesn't have the files 
So, but when I saw it on the, the other GitHub, it's work, but on desktop, it can't work. I don't know. When I go to the online, the where we try to do other GitHub, wherever where I read the name, so it's work, but here on desktop, it doesn't work. It shows me the, it's too large to display by default, so, but yeah, okay. but uh, there um, when I test it, Maybe we can uh, we can set up a separate uh, session where I can try and help you on that. Okay, thank you. Yeah, if you can set up maybe tomorrow on Discord. Yes. Be me and then uh, we can see what the issue is. Thank so, you. Any, any, so just let me let me continue the presentation and then we we'll see. Where we are. Um, where are we? Where are we? So yeah, so we are here. So let me. So these are some of the um, links I'll share with you guys. Um, we have uh, types of web hosting. They, this way they discuss uh, free for dev tools. So these are the tools that you can use that are free as a developer. Let me just post this uh, on the, let me post uh, copy link and post it on chat so you can have access to it. We have free tools that you can use. You can get some inspiration there. And these are the, I've already shared with you guys this one. So these are the pages for posting. Um, if you need any other material that you saw, just contact me, I can share with you. And uh, that's it from me. Any questions? Okay, so if there are no questions, I think we'll end it there. Um, thank you for joining. Uh, thank you for participating. Please uh, go to on our Women in Tech uh, Discord. Um, if you're still having with problems with uh, uh, joining uh, GitHub, please tell me. Uh, so let me just type it if you are having trouble with joining GitHub or hosting a simple page, please share the problem. Yeah. So I just posted on our channel. If you have any problem, just type it there. I'll help. Uh, I think that's it. So I'll see you guys um, on Friday for the demo. Right? Yes. Yes, thank you. Okay, see you guys. I'll share I'll share the recording on I'll share the recording on um on Discord. Thank you.